Some agricultural areas are fortunate and can be irrigated without the need to build an extensive system to supply water. For example, when there is a quarry in the area. But how can you distribute water to 70 different lots of land with 45 different owners? That project near Heilbronn in southern Germany was, even for us, quite a challenge. The village of Ilsfeld in Württemberg. A quarry near the village would provide plenty of water to irrigate the vineyards. Also, the township had built a new water supply and two elevated water tanks could be used for irrigation of 70 parcels of land, widely scattered over the area in a hilly region. First step, all 45 landowners, all tanks and all vineyards were linked together by a radio control network. Let us follow the way of the water, beginning at elevated tank number one. Was wir da oben gesehen haben, ist das eine Relais. What we saw up there was a relay box. As the radio signals travel three or four miles, we need to set up relay stations in order to boost the signal and extend its range. A relay can extend the range up to 12 miles, but since these signals travel by line off site, you have to position the relays high up. In the building next to the elevated tank, we find all the irrigation machinery, pumps, suction tubes, filter heads for incoming water and solenoid controlled valves. The grey tubes pipe water into the reservoir where level meters regulate the intake. Here you see the main valve. This is the master control for the distribution of water to the vineyards. Another technical feature is the pressure sensor, which constantly monitors pressure throughout the system by radio control. In the control box we find an energy-saving frequency converter that regulates pressure and flow rate. Nearby vineyards are supplied directly from the storage tanks, more distant vineyards are connected by a relay station. Here we are at the control unit, which operates the solenoid-controlled valves by radio. A central antenna connects this radio transmitter to the radio control system, so from one central point we can operate all valves in the irrigation system. The valves we see here are designed for radio control. They run on low voltage and are engineered for very low electric power consumption. In addition to automatic mode, the valves can be operated manually. The special construction of the drip hoses provides unified control of the water pressure, allowing a constant pressure of 45 to 60 psi. From the first to the last dripper, the amount of water by hour is exactly the same. In 2015, this irrigation plant started operation. They concluded that the fully automated system would be best. Well, at first we were thinking about a semi-automated system that we would run mainly by hand. But when we started looking for somebody to run it, none of us wanted the job. So we said, let's look into an automated irrigation system, and that brought us to Mr. Razavi. Today we are very happy with the automated irrigation plant, because... These days, no farm manager has the time to care about every single water tap. But why did the wine growers need irrigation at all? First of all, it was a question of quality. And right in the first year, thanks to the irrigation, these vineyards could fully profit from the sun of a century summer. Gut, man sieht, die Trauben hier jetzt, die sind jetzt kurz vor der Ernte, die werden in wenigen Tagen geerntet. Das Schöne ist... Have a look at these grapes. They will be harvested in a few days. A grapevine naturally has deep roots, but you still need water. The main thing about irrigation, though, is not even a higher yield, but a better quality of grapes. Also, we find it important to avoid stress in our vines. If they suffer from dryness, the plants will undergo stress, and the quality of the grapes will go down. 
dann lässt die Qualität einfach nach. Dieses Jahr stellen wir jetzt einfach fest. However, due to the good water supply they had this year, the wines in general are more stable and the wood is maturing very nicely. So the plants have been able to build up resources, which gives us a good prospect for next year. Irrigation is about more than just water. In an irrigation cooperative, All members expect financial and technical accuracy. And this is another strong point in what we do. With our flexible radio control system, we can guarantee that accuracy. In only two or three days, we can supply nearly half an inch of rainfall to each of the 150 acres of these vineyards. Irreport. Wireless Irrigation.